And that particular shooting happened in one of the areas that police have labeled as high crime. And it has now gotten the attention of one of Indiana's senators. Yeah, tra tracking crime out there in the Martin Luther King neighborhood is a big part of a new push to revitalize that area. As Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Rader explains, could play a big role in the economic future of that corridor. Barbecue Heaven is a little slice of heaven located along Dr. Martin Luther King. It's been operated by the same family at the same location since it opened in 1952. Ronald Jones started working with the family business at 13. He knows what this neighborhood needs. It needs people who care about where they live, where they shop, where they do business. How do you make people feel safe in their homes again? Right, right. And that is... Uh, Eliminate blight. Yep. That's part of it. Work close with IMPD. And United States Senator Joe Donnelly walked the same neighborhood Monday. He helped secure a $155,000 grant for the Northwest Corridor along Dr. Martin Luther King. When the double eight was open, you had, uh, you, that was the only place that was open. Now even the double eight is gone. But because of the grant, the neighborhood can help devise a new plan for an economic comeback. But we have a plan to possibly redevelop this whole corridor with a grocery store, multi-unit housing, and some retail as well. In a lot of grocery stores now, you can put a bank right inside. We were walking down the street looking and going, how do we bring our supermarket back? How do we bring our banking and financial services back? How do we make it so that all of the kind of things that, that we take for granted in so many other areas are right here and that this community can grow and expand? It starts with using the Byrne Criminal Justice Innovation Grant to capture crime data to formulate a plan for an economic comeback. Ronald Jones has weathered the good times and the bad times here for over 60 years. I've seen it change quite a bit for the better, for the worse, and it's now on a comeback, and it's, it's getting better. The hope is with grant money and TIF dollars, the neighborhood will see some new business construction get underway and maybe break ground just after the first of the year.